what's up everybody welcome to my second tutorial on your script just help you guys have installed yours and your mobile device so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys um, how to build your own first application using your script it's gonna be on SPK file like I said earlier so if you want to convert it to APK it's up to you just purchase the the plugin then you are there but for now I don't have the plugin so what I'm gonna do now is um delete this first application that I've created so teach you I'm gonna be teaching you guys and I'll create a new one so just click on the new body name it some money my own oh yeah I don't know about you there so you we have series ways of building this app we have native html Esperanto. so i already have idea of the two which is the html and the native the native is the javascript while the html is normal html code in um, the javascript so just click on this now you have created your own first application so let's see what it does what the let's see when you want to see the code you just click touch down and touch edit then you can see the code here so click on the play button you'll see your work your, your which is the output of your code so now um static i need to explain something now because maybe most of you are very very new to programming most of you just um want to get a start and most of you might have install this app and you're still confused oh my gosh what the heck is this anyways you're not gonna be like me a few years ago because uh, when I first installed this app I was totally confused all I can see those period is code and examples of application that's all I can see I don't have anybody to ask questions I don't have anything to to do as in I'm just totally confused I read JavaScript a lot I'm still confused of using this app so you're gonna be thank you guys for having someone who we can put you through maybe in your in this basic um, steps so when you go advanced you can use it in making your games making websites um, making um, other application you want to make so I'm gonna be um okay let's take uh an explanation on these codes we are seeing right here it's not much i know so i don't want to explain a bunch of code because that's gonna take a lot of time so now called when application is started there's a comment and i guess most of you know this called when application is started means um, when the application is started when you click on this play button it's gonna call this codes when the application is started which means this codes here all these um, codes right here is gonna call it when the application is started so function on starts everybody know what is called function on um, JavaScript I guess so it's that create a layout um, with this one create a layout with objects vertically centered and if most of you have read about um, the, the introductions to this app which is this one, the one by the left or this one's the introduction or the reference you will have the idea of what is called um, object vertically centered or horizontally centered or those or the layouts or the other the so this one is saying that we should create a layout with object vertically centered which means this object we're gonna create right now is gonna be in the middle of our device when we run the code now what you're gonna do first is create a layout what is a layout a layout is the first things the the is, is a, I, will, I call it a holder which is um just like this phone you can see the, uh, this layer at uh, this place here all is called layouts they are the first 
page that will appear to you those pages that appear to you are called layouts so you have to create a layout for you to be able to rest this your app on without creating the layout the code is not gonna run because it's not gonna prove anything but I've just I can just run the code and you won't see anything like um, this hello world because it has no layout but when it has a layout you that's where you can see all these things here or else it's gonna be blank so now how do you create a layout you call it lay this uh, built-in um, <coughs> built-in uh, code so you say lay most times you can say lay main or because you can create a layout in the layout you can I tell how to explain all those things because it's gonna get you confused. So let's just take the one we have for now. If you have any question on this, you can just tap on the the, the comment button on the YouTube. So the layout said um equals app dot create layouts. Then um linear v center fill s y okay now let's explain this code delay meaning the layout that you want to create maybe the main layer the second layer you can name it anyhow you want to name it that's for you but from here this is a built-in code you can change it this is how it's gonna be this is a built-in code this app creates layers uh, when you doing things like this, you gonna be very very careful about um, the the letters. You can see some letters are in uppercase, while some are in lowercase, and these are very serious. Just imagine changing this um, uppercase letter to lowercase. Okay, now let's run the file and see what's happening. Again, it's gonna give us error. App create layout is not a function so that's to tell you that it is a built-in function on javascript so you have to take it back to you can see it gives you the error the place you have the error then take it back to uppercase then when you run it exactly it's gonna work fine so you said um, app create layout then uh, what is this linear <coughs> excuse me so this linear is um probably most of you know what is called linear so i have to stretch my brain for that now the v center means vertically centered vertically centered you can see it vertically horizontal you can see it vertically blah blah the other so what is the feel as why feel as why is um it's gonna feel the s axis and the y axis of your device then don't forget to put um comments let's see so when you're done with your maybe creating your layouts don't forget to put your semicolon at the end i don't guess this things oh let's see okay so your semicolon must be here there's no semicolon is still gonna have the same error so you're coming back to code it again so now um, go to the third line it said create a test label and add it to the layer add it to layout test is equals to app create test is a building function why test set test size is also a building function then now how will this test be displayed you're gonna add it to the layout if you don't add this test to the layout it's not gonna be displayed on the, uh, the screen maybe when you run your program nothing's gonna be there okay let's say for example um you said add add to layout because this was created the test we created test and it's here so let's delete it and see what's happening we might, probably we might receive error or there will be nothing on the layout okay now you can see there's nothing on our screen because we did not add the test to the layout we just created so by doing that we're gonna be 
I'm gonna put the test TST. Make sure it's where the way it is at the this point, the way you spend it here. You can name it uh, my test, you can name it um any 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 other thing. So that's not the problem, but from this point after this point, this equals to is equal to sign and app dot create test is a building function and this um, set test size is also a building function this um lay add layer add shade is a building function so what is called add shade add shade is okay let me start from the beginning the test app create test you say hello can just go ahead and edit it to maybe just change something to hello world hello world this is a test so um, you need uh, when you got a test you need a size you can't just create a test then you just leave it like that you gotta specify a size for it so that it don't take above what you expect so you're gonna be given it um set test size which is give it 32 Though this is not measuring um, other piezo or any other, but you just gonna give it a number for it to be able to for sure way. So now we'll jump to the last one, which is um lay add chart. What's lay add chart? Which means this layer that we just created here, we wanna add chart to it. We wanna add um this test that we create here. Want to add it to it so this test is not in form of a shard just like a mother nursing his baby just take it at the back so just so how we're gonna do that um just click use some um, lay make sure this name and this one here this one delay is the same thing as this one so that you don't have error in your coding so after that you say dot add shard it's a building function then you call the name of the the variable or the the thing you want to add to the maybe a button or maybe a test or maybe something else maybe a picture you can just write it here by calling it from the first one the first letter add it to it then you can see everything for sure so, so the last one is um add layer to app now you've created a layout you've created a layout and you create a test and now you have you add the layout you have added a test to the layout now what's gonna happen next is you need this application you need to add the layout to it if you don't add this layout to this application which is i'm talking about the one you're about to run no not the draw script itself the one you're about to run so you need to add it to it because if you don't add this application uh, the layout of that you just created if you don't add it to the application it's not going to give you anything it's just going to give you error so you need to add it to the application so that it will run fine so that's what is happening here in the last chapter uh, sorry the last um, line of code so just that's just it for now so now let's run and see what changes that have made here so you see hello world okay now let's increase the test size to maybe something like um 50 i run it you can see things are changing okay now let's take it to maybe 100 I believe that's gonna uh, okay let's see <laughs> nice one so you can see that's just it so thanks for watching um see you in my next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe